you don't get 20 sacks on accident. He's kind of like everything you want in a D-lineman, a guy that is just disruptive. He can't be blocked. He's been doing it for eight years in a row where he can't be blocked. He can't block me. He's just unstoppable at what he does. There's no formula. There's no recipe. He's one of a kind. Yep, this, like I said, when this kid, when it's all said and done, it's going to be hard to say he's not the greatest defensive player that you ever saw. Not the greatest of all time. Um, I think in my era, I would say, there are plenty of legendary defensive linemen, but none have been as dominant as Aaron Donald. But before that, Donald was called undersized, not strong enough, and even thought to get dominated by bigger NFL offensive linemen. From an underappreciated prospect to the league's most unblockable player ever, this is the story of Aaron Donald. And a guy that's not the tallest guy. You know, I got the leverage, you know, I got the speed, I got the shrimp. So, you know, putting all that together with technique, you can do a lot of different things with that. Work ethic was the theme of Aaron Donald's upbringing. His father, Archie, a former college football player, embedded a strong attitude of hard work in Aaron from his earliest days. While he was still in diapers, Aaron and his siblings would join their father in the basement for their morning workouts. Sometimes we wake up 6 o'clock in the morning, 8.30 in the morning. Then it came to a point in high school where we used to wake up 4.30 before school. Started him at 12 by the time. Man was let's say 14. He was waking me up. Come on, Dad, let's get down there and do it. He was now encouraging me. Watching and learning about the discipline and dedication that would prove so valuable later in life. My dad called me and told me how I did in the game. I didn't care what nobody else thought. I was good. So. Um, I mean the world. Despite being exposed to his dad's workout routine from an early age, Aaron took some time to fall in love with the grind. He's a good kid, man. I try to break him out of laziness with chores. He only had two chores. And when I came home, I said, Aaron, you get the trash and you sweep them steps. And I left back out the house. By the time I came to school, I'd say about 20 minutes, the trash was still on the floor and the steps was half done. So I said, I got an idea for you. Starting Monday, you're going to get down there. You're going to start lifting weights. But I mean, anybody who has seen a shirtless Aaron Donald in recent years knows that this wasn't a problem for too long. And Aaron has his father to thank for that. Eventually, Aaron began to see the benefits of hard work and became hooked on the routine, fostering a work ethic that would drive him to the pinnacle of the NFL. But before all of that, though, his physical prowess was first put to the test at Penn Hills High School. Despite not having much height to him, Donald's stocky frame meant that he had played in older age groups as a youngster and honestly this might have helped him in the long run because this meant that he was used to being shorter than his opponents and it never really bothered him he was a ruthless defensive lineman who simply ran through his opponents using a rare combination of speed and power that helped him all throughout his career his immense work ethic led him to be featured on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball and he earned all state selections as a junior and a senior his high school resume earned him a three-star prospect Prospect ranking from Rivals.com and offers from the likes of Toledo, Rutgers, and Akron. Despite his brother already playing at Toledo, Aaron decided to stay close to home and attend the University of Pittsburgh. And as soon as Donald stepped on the field, he quickly earned a reputation as a freakish defensive tackle. He was an absolute silent assassin in training, slipping past offensive linemen with ease and embarrassing players who were half a foot taller and 50 pounds heavier than him. Like it's safe to say that the Panthers had certainly gained a good one, and when he was ready for a starting role as a sophomore, he proved just how good he could be. 11 sacks and 16 tackles for loss landed him second team All Big East recognition in his first year as a starter, which he upgraded to first team All Big East as a junior. But I mean, what the dude did as a senior is what really put his name on a map as a future star, and I mean, this also did help too because Pitt by then had also moved into the ACC. I talked and I told him, um, I'm gonna come back for my senior year because I want to be All-American. He was like, you're making grown man decisions now, you know, and you got to stand on that. And I came back more motivated than ever. On the higher profile stage, Donald unleashed one of the greatest defensive seasons in NCAA history, including 11 sacks, 59 tackles, 28 and a half tackles for loss, and four forced fumbles. Aaron Donald was a true game wrecker at the heart of the pit defense. Opposition teams specifically designed their offenses to avoid or neutralize him, but it simply made no difference. Like, I mean, the dude could not be stopped and he was rewarded for his work by becoming the first defensive unanimous All-American player from Pitt since 1980. He also won the ACC Defensive Player of the Year award among several other trophies and awards. But I mean the only one that he really was missing that year was the Heisman. And as crazy as it sounds, despite 
all of this production throughout college, he still was looked down on by scouts as a prospect. And the easiest thing to target was his height, which was the criticism analysts jumped on most often. Again, I, mean, that, I don't think he's the biggest guy. I don't think what you did in college won't translate to the NFL. So it was always that, that, same, that same thing being said. When you go to the senior bowl, um, you dominate. It's like, okay, okay maybe, he, he's, he, maybe he can do that, but I, I don't know. Um, you go to the combat, you run a 4-6, now everybody like, okay, maybe I'm gonna take a chance on this guy now, so. Donald measured in at just under six foot one inches at the combine, which was approximately three inches shorter than the average defensive tackle. And I mean, there was a common theory that had Donald been a little bit taller, he would have been recognized as a top rated defensive tackle. But due to his size, many people argued that this would result in him being bullied by a bigger offensive lineman. And I mean, safe to say that they were pretty wrong about this. And yes, I'm sure that this argument does have some logic behind it, but I mean, when you look at the kid coming out of college, he was an absolute freak of nature. Besides his height and weight, he checked all the boxes. His work ethic was second to none and his height was not a new issue. It was something he had dealt with his whole life and not something that was going to stop him now. Donald's father had turned him into a machine. He posted the fastest 40 yard dash for a defensive tackle with a 4.68 while also registering in the 90th percentile in the broad jump, three cone drill and bench press. But yet again, his height and weight were at 9th in the 7th percentile respectively though, which meant he still didn't earn the respect that he deserved. Like, I mean, the fact that this dude was actually projected to go in either maybe the second or even the third round absolutely blows my mind. But it was safe to say that after all, he really didn't need to wait that long to hear his name get called. The 13th pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the St. Louis Rams select Aaron Donald, the fifth tackle. Pittsburgh. It was, it was, it was, um, it was special. It was, it was super special. Um, and like I told my brother when we was in that bed from crying, um, it's time to work. Let's be great now. Oh um, man, I got there and, and we went to work. And just like his freshman year at Pitt, Aaron Donald made an immediate impact on the Rams. Any temptations to sit him and let him learn the ropes were quickly banished as the Rams made him a starter in just his fifth game. I'm gonna I'm be talking a lot in this meeting room. I'm gonna be teaching a lot of guys a lot of things, but I want you to listen to nothing I say. I just want you to go out there and play, do the same thing you did in college. I wanna learn from you. As a, as a rookie and, and you got a D-line D coach telling you, just play football, do what you want, just make plays. I don't care if you jump out your gap, just make plays the same. Whatever you did in college, just do that now. Not much confidence that was to me to just go out there and just play and just play free. Like he looked so at home on the pro stage, registering nine sacks, 48 tackles, and 18 tackles for loss, which was good enough to win him the Defensive Rookie of the Year award. Overall, though, a 6 and 10 record made it pretty disappointing for the St. Louis Rams, but it was clear that they had made the right call with the 13th overall pick. One year later, he hit double digit sacks for the first time, also reeling in 69 total tackles, 22 tackles for loss and 37 quarterback hits. In just his second season as a pro, Aaron Donald was a first team all pro player and the recipient of the second most defensive player of the year award votes. It was an absolute incredible start for the powerful defensive tackle to start his career. And I mean, by now, I'm pretty sure that most people didn't really care that he was a little undersized. Like, I mean, the reality is, is that his explosiveness and power more than made up for his small stature. He made a mockery of offensive lineman winning off the line in a heartbeat and finding his way into the backfield with relentless consistency. He had all the moves needed to navigate around blocks and when all else failed, his power and ability to drive linemen into the lap of the quarterback was second to none. His physicality meant that offenses often depended on double teams to try and keep him out of the game. And I mean, even then, he still found a way. Like look at some of these clips and how quick he is off the line. He could beat the first blocker in find open space before the second blocker could even arrive. He was an absolute all-around physical specimen that tortured offensive linemen on a weekly basis. And of course, that's the benefits of having a defensive lineman like Aaron Donald. Once you have so much focus on a dominant defensive guy like him, 
it opens up other rushing lanes for other defensive guys around him. And like, I mean, with Donald garnering the attention of double or even triple team blocks, other teams on the Ravens defensive line had a clearer route to the quarterback. Like, look at these pictures and how he was an impossible problem to solve for opposing offenses. And I mean, the results were insane. After earning one Pro Bowl and two first team all pro nominations in his first three seasons, Donald went one step further in 2017, winning the Defensive Player of the Year award. His 11 sacks, 15 tackles for loss, and 27 quarterback hits won him the prestigious accolade and also propelled the Rams to their first division title since 2003. And the craziest part is that it really wasn't even his best year yet. Having just been given the biggest defensive contract in the history of the NFL, Donald repaid the Rams by going absolutely berserk in the 2018 season. His 20 and a half sacks led the league and set a new single season record for a defensive tackle, beating the previous record by two and a half sacks. Like that is absolutely outrageous. He also collected 41 solo tackles, a league leading 25 tackles for loss and a career high 41 quarterback hits. Like these numbers are absolutely absurd and will go down as one of the greatest seasons ever by a defensive player in the NFL. He was truly unstoppable, winning the Defensive Player of the Year award for the second year in a row, joining only Lawrence Taylor and JJ Watt as the only other players to have won the award in consecutive seasons. And with Donald absolutely obliterating offensive lines, the Rams stormed to a 13-3 record and made it all the way to the Super Bowl. Who you work for right here? Who you work for? All that training you did. All everything you do is for this right here. Come on, hey. Come on. You're living the dream. How bad you want it? How bad you want it? How bad you want it? Make the big play, huh? Make the big play. Get to neutralize Donald's impact on the game, double or triple teaming him throughout. And as a result, Donald was held with out a sack and he took no shame in blaming himself for the loss after the game. He even went along to say, My man, I thought we, we were supposed to win this game, you know, um, but we didn't. They made more plays than we did and, you know, it, it, you know, it, it sucked. Like I said, this this is what you work for to, to play, be on this, to play in this game, to be on this stage, and and then when you feel like you ain't did enough to help your team to you know to win that and, and, and be a part of you know success, you know it just make you wanna you know work even harder. So um, you know, we lost, we fell short, but um, I'm gonna get better, find ways to get better, and I know we'll be back. So we just gotta keep working. And I mean, boy, was he right. Three years and yet another Defensive Player of the Year award later, Aaron died 84 combined tackles and 19 tackles for loss. Donald and the Rams made it back to the Super Bowl, this time edging out a 23 to 20 victory over the Cincinnati Bengals. Having already won all of the individual accolades you could ask for, Donald's last remaining target was a Lombardi trophy. All his years of relentless drive and inspirational work ethic had led to this moment and it paid off in dramatic dramatic fashion. It was Donald who broke through the lines to force a Jimmy Garoppolo interception in the dying moments of the NFC Championship game. And to throw for it. He's hit. He flings it away on fourth down. Aaron Donald got there. The greatest of all time does it in the biggest moment of Super Bowl 56. His pressure on fourth and one gave Joe solidifying his status as the greatest defensive player to ever graced the NFL. Over his illustrious 10-year career, he overcame his size disadvantage to post 111 sacks, 543 tackles, 176 tackles for loss, and 260 quarterback hits. His three Defensive Player of the Year awards are tied with J.J. Watt and Lawrence Taylor for the most in NFL history. And I mean, they also sit nicely alongside his eight first-team All-Pros, 10 Pro Bowls, and Defensive Rookie of the Year award. Without a doubt, Aaron Donald is a first ballot Hall of Fame player to ever play the game. I'm not the greatest of all time. Um, I think I played 10 years. Um, I think in my era, I would say, for my era, yes, but you know, everybody, there was different.